Hello and welcome back to Shadow of War. I'm Jed Star. I'm Iron Man PK. And I finally don't have an elf inside of me. Yeah. Yeah. It feels good. It's nice to have my body back myself. It's, it's roomier in here than it used to be. <laughs> uh, so I'm sitting on 40 skill points, and uh, you remember Elven Fury? Don't have that anymore, so now we have the, no. uh, the Ring Wraith skill. It's much the same, except less elfy. Um... So instead of kind of going into bullet time and just unloading 700 arrows in about three seconds, uh, you stay melee focused in ring wraith mode. Oh, okay. Uh, we can also now raise the dead uh, instead of I think it was Elven Flash, the stunner. Uh, right. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, seems like. Uh, so undying loyalty uh, is this is a little weird that it's a, a sub skill for this because you don't actually use that in combat or on the field like the little animation might suggest you actually use that ability on the uh, the army board oh um, uh, and we want to go unlock it uh, so the reason I was holding on to all of these skill points aside from those two skills is there are now these prestige skills oh like gain two health recovery per kill uh, per point uh, there are incredibly diminishing returns which I actually have enough skill points to basically hit right now uh, but we're gonna dump about 10 points into each of these. Wow. And you can see the uh, the diminishing returns hitting pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. There's a... Uh, let's see. Wrath recovery per hit, might recovery, health critical per kill, hit damage. critical hit damage. Yeah. And of those, I think... I think health recovery and might generation per hit are the two more important ones. Mm. Although, um, I do get a lot of wrath recovery per kill, but I don't think it works how I was hoping. That is unfortunately oh. not like 17.2% of my bar per kill. I think that's just no. 20, 19, whatever, percent more than you normally earn per kill. Yeah, that's what I would have assumed it was. Yeah thinking on it, yeah, that makes more sense, but I, I was hopeful, because 20% more wrath per kill doesn't doesn't feel like a whole lot, especially after dumping like 10 skill points into it, but 20% of my bar per kill is probably way Broken. too much. Yeah. yeah. Likewise with might recovery per hit, being able to generate, you know, even 10% of your bar per hit would be entirely too much. Uh, and I already hit the um, the diminishing returns break point. Oh, the a long time ticket. ago. Yeah, it was fluctuating between like 0.54 and 0.55 per point in, uh, put in. And yeah, health is at 0.44 per point now, and I don't think that was moving. <coughs> However, 11 uh, health per kill isn't bad, since that's kind of what some of the legendary pieces do in the Slaughter Tribes, like 10 health per kill. Mm. So, you know. Uh, so, hey... Uh, remember that ring wraith gear? Yeah. I do love my stealth attacks light enemies on fire dagger, but what if stealth attacks killed grunts and then brought them back as undead minions? Oh. Yeah. Uh, we get Helm's Hammer, which is okay. Um, it certainly fits the build of the armor style, but if I don't go too heavy into it, its, it's ability is, is mostly... I really like the look of the uh, the armor of the Ringwraith's armor. Yeah, all the it, legendary. It's pretty good. Yeah, all the I mean, You can see armor. why they would have put a lot of work into it. Yeah, no, fair point. Uh, all of the legendary armor looks really good, but the problem is, I still, I still have another breastplate that has an ability that I find more valuable than just a chance to gain full might after being hit. And uh, let's put on a Sildor's ring, because this is a good idea, right? <laughs> nah. Um, was I using two pieces? Oh, the cloak and the dagger, right, yes. So now I have the two-piece set from uh, the outcasts, not outcasts, outlaws, and the, uh, the two-piece set from the ring wraiths. I mean, once again, you're always wearing a Sildor's ring, aren't you now? Yeah. Yeah, we are. That's, uh gonna lead to some problems down the road. Yeah. <laughs> oh 
Okay, all of that done. Um, it's time to clean up Minas Morgul a little bit. This is uh, this is our town now, but there's still a couple of orc outposts and uh, a bunch of missions to go do. Oh, not that they're entirely essential to what we need to do right now. The uh, the big plot point right now was at the end of the last video saying uh, Sirith Ungul is under siege. Uh, so that's that's our next sure. plot point. But this is a good introduction to kind of the f this phase of things. So right now, uh, as of the end of Act 3, each of the zones kind of had a level scale. Um, as you can see, the first several captains we're going to fight here are going to be horrifically underleveled since we haven't needed to be in... Minas Morgul doing anything for, you know, 30 levels. Right, and they're, they're all captains that spawned back then. Right. But, I'm gonna go to some of those tr slaughtering tribal uh, outlaw missions, and they're going to spawn level-appropriate foes. Also, the okay. dagger is, is doing its thing. You can hear it in the background and see the uh, the blue arrows in the minimap. <laughs> oh, yeah, there he goes. Yep. Possibly my favorite dagger. I'm not sure if it's possible in the main campaign, but in one of the DLCs, you can get stealth attacks that summon spiders for every stealth attack. <laughs> and then it's great, because you go around and you chain stab a whole bunch of dudes. And then, and then there are spiders, and they're yeah. distracting them, and you can you can stealth att attack another person. I can see that. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth. Yeah. Also, brutalized. Totally counts for the purposes of the dagger's uh, resurrection. He was on fire, that guy. A little bit. That could just be the uh, the two piece set from the outcast. Oh, uh, ignore those steam messages. Ramadu was talking to me about football. Sorry, sorry. That's my video. No one's getting steam messages right now. Incidentally, if you follow football, uh, Tom Brady got traded off of the Patriots. I heard. Yeah, that's big Who's news. My yeah. My As if anything kill. matters right now during coronavirus. So, you were absolutely right. Uh, these are captains and uh, left over from, you know, Act 2 or Act 3, and he's only level 28. He's got a blood brother, though. I see some intel. That's good yeah. Because it wasn't inside of an orc's brain. No, it's on a table. Who transmits intelligence like this? Come on. This is incredibly insecure. Yeah, they've just left it there unattended. Oh man, can you imagine if orcs started like developing like brain cryptology to stop Talion from getting intel? <laughs> How would you encrypt an orc brain? Oh man, orc uh, brain intel with two-factor authentication. <laughs> Sauron's Palantir starts ringing. Like, Did you uh, authorize access to this file? <laughs> Although, hold on. Does, uh, does, yeah, Sauron, Sauron has a plant here in Baradur, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a bit of an eyeball now, but he's certainly got a plant here for somebody to keep uh, an eye on. But we have our own plant here. Does that mean we have access to his systems? Have we hacked Sauron? Well, I don't, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> given, given the confusion about when this game actually takes place and various yeah. other things. Um, but he definitely had one by the books, by the Lord of the Rings, because that's how he corrupted Saruman. Oh, yeah. And, uh, was, didn't, like, Merrin or Pippin touch one accidentally? Yeah. Indistinguishable background topic. Like, Gandalf is like, we don't know where all those Palantirs are! 
it turns out Sauron had one. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, so, Wraith mode, now that we don't shoot a million uh, arrows, really, really strong against captains. Mm. Slightly less good for killing hordes of mooks, but really, really strong for dealing with captains. any gems at this point? Oh, you told me you can use them to re-roll properties on gear, didn't you? Yes. Which, unfortunately, requires a perfect gem to do. Of course it does, yeah. Of course it does, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, also, come on, like, what am I gonna do? Pass up treasure? <laughs> I suppose I'm not a dwarf here, but, like, still, come on, Norman, gems. I will teach you the meaning of the word savage. I mean, Elf Cash isn't. You know, ha hasn't lost all of its value either. <laughs> I spent a lot of Elf Cash setting up, you know, a couple of fortresses. And, um, we're going to need Elf Cash for more fortress upgrades in the near future. Because, um, you know that, that aforementioned siege at Sirithungul? Yes. Well, uh, kind of like this video. Whoop. You know. kill my blood brother. Oh. But you didn't even do it right. I'll show you a proper murder. So kind of the same problem with those fortresses as, as this video. Um, they're all captains that we use during like Act Two, and are probably leveled like Act Two. And oh. we're going to be sieged by, you know, level sixty pluses. Oh. So we're either gonna have to go recruiting, which I mean we'll still have to do, uh, or we can spend a lot of elf cash on the fortresses, which we will probably also have to do. If somehow I was just thinking that somehow, even though like Talion is now like a wraith and raising people from the dead, he's still less creepy than when he had Celebrimbor in him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was just like that that zombie orc was wandering around, that's like, that's creepy, but is he as creepy as Celebrimbor? <laughs> Oh, even Orlok. Yes. So that was one of the um, abilities on that. You can either get uh, Ologs, Karagors, and Draugs, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, maybe just Karagors. Um, and then the other one is uh, Captains. Oh. Wow. Well, like I said, you don't resurrect Captains like in this mode. You do it on the army board. And it has a bit of a caveat. You can only resurrect friendly captains. I'm gonna oh, the okay. You killed by spilling your blood. A lot of your blood. It's what they would have wanted. So, yeah, sadly you can't, like, go find a level 60 captain for us, murder him, and then raise him on our side. You have to be able to recruit them first. And then you have to get them killed in a manner that doesn't just completely remove them from the army board, like, right. decapitation. Oh dear. I think Isildur's ring gave me enough focus to add one more to the uh, stealth attack chain. Which is great, especially with the, the necro dagger. Oh. Yeah, this guy... Started off bad, and it's not gonna get any better. Oh dear. Oh, Japan in there. It's fine, I was keeping some social distancing from Talion. Oh 
Oh, then he's dead. He didn't really angry. Right. So that's kind of a demonstration of what happens <laughs> transitioning from Act uh, 2 to 4 and that going back fun. to places that are horrifically underleveled. Decided we're done with you. It's completely personal. We hate you, and now we're gonna kill you. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Uh, it took me a while to realize that when he talked, he's saying like the boys and me had a discussion. He means the skulls on his shoulders. Right. Set you on fire there. Yeah. Actually, kind of handy. Oh, well, <laughs> quite disconcerting when the four orcs you're with all just explode. <laughs> Oh, a trap! We were ready for that. I have more than just one set on. Victory is up. <laughs> what? Over odd, uh, they'll retreat in the presence of uh, a captain or Italian if you're over leveled on them significantly. Oh, you are mine. I mean, and if they're losing. You serve me now. I am yours. Again. Welcome back, buddy. That's a that's a way to gain five levels. Uh, right. Yeah. I'm leaving. Well, I mean, thanks for the. Was that 3,900 or 39,000 XP? Whichever. Probably 100. Um. Oh, so. Raising captains from, um... The weaker with each year I wear a silver ring, but my mission remains the same. Hold Mordor. <clears throat> uh, so raising captains from the dead requires you to beat the Minas Morgul fight pits at the champion difficulty. So that's my next goal. Oh, okay. Uh, also, the little fast travel dialogue is good. Um... On release, it seemed like Act 4 was a bit rushed, and it's been patched and changed a little bit since then to be a little bit better, more narrative, and less grindy. Uh, and one of those additions is the little dialogue you get from Talion on fast travels and such to kind of show that the burden of wearing a silver's ring is wearing on him a lot, all of the time. And it's inevitable that he'll eventually start working for Sauron at this point. That is what everyone assumes, yes. Including him. Yeah. They seem pretty happy about being alive again, or yeah. undead. <laughs> Animated again. Oh, oh no. Hmm. Hmm. So you're just killing off all these low-level captains, so a load of higher ones respawn. Yes. So you want you'll want to use in the fight pits. I assume that's yes. what you're doing. Uh, the fight pits. I mean, if I get good ones, I can recruit them and then give them garrison orders to um, go to oh, another. Oh, he died of poison. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that before. He just had you know a sudden heart attack. Oh, he's running away from us. 
Um, there is one notable weird oddity about trying to recruit captains in Minas Morgul, and for some reason it seems that Minas Morgul spawns more orcs per capita with Iron Will than the other zones. Oh. Uh -oh. No one's really sure why, but it is a phenomenon that has been documented and discussed, like, on the boards and stuff. And hey, Naruk, you, uh, you just came around. I've been waiting to kill you. It better be worth it. Yeah, I quite liked him. Victim. Up seven levels and epic. You should have this. He's got some hunters. That's why I'm weakly. Javelin. I love that they just stick out of them for a while. You ever played Mountain Blade? A bit, yeah. Oh, jeez. Rook, come on. Come on! I love uh, some of the silly things you can see in Mountain Blade when people are just pin cushions and javelins or arrows. He got enraged, shit. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot closer than I expected. He was pretty good, that guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, not a Glucas. Glucas the other guy. Ah, man, I get my orcs mixed up like that. More gear for the Mithrins. Mm -hmm. So all that Mithrin, you you're going to use upgrading captains, are you? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use up seventy-seven thousand of it, but. But if I wanted to do something really stupid like the Fortress of Douche again, then yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, each legendary upgrade is 10,000 Mithrin. Okay. So that's, you know, that's only seven or eight captains worth of Mithrin right there if I wanted to make an entire fortress legendary. Right. And I do yep. absolutely want to pour all those Mithrins into upgrading the Fortress of Douche to be max level. So that's going to cost a lot of Mithrins. It's going to cost, what, 100 Mithrins per level up, I think? Yeah. And look at this asshole. Look at this level 46 Olog that's fucking fireproof. Yeah, arrowproof. He's pretty good. Yeah. Now, our boy Narug just had trouble with, like, a level 36 dude. And this yeah. dude's fireproof instead of fire vulnerable like a normal all Yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to go recruit some more orcs. Maybe some around level 60. You around have, my you level. You could have let him kill Narug and then recruit him. I could have, but Narug's pretty good. Is he? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's an epic berserker. And then... Oh, ah, statue. No, just... just go around. No, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Use a different wall. So these guys, these are generated now. Yeah, there you go, right. Level 62 legendary, that seems like a good one. Yes, it does. Oh, this level 30 guy's in real trouble. Uh, also, oh, there's two 67s down there who you can't recruit. Yup. Curse Warder, or Fire Warder. 
Yikes. Enraged by Enraged everything. Enraged by everything, yes! That's a good trait! <laughs> yeah, you want this guy. Hold on, I need to find my, uh, my curse-resistant cloak if I'm gonna deal with this guy. Yeah! He did seem to have a lot of curse going on. He's, uh... Almost, he was almost I losing to that Berserker, but that's because he's, you know, an archer versus Berserker. Ow! <laughs> he landed right on a trap! Not only that, I got shot by a sniper shot while jumping off the wall. That also poisoned me. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> this didn't go very well, did it? Really didn't. She probably leave. Hey, wait a minute, you guys are fire. Fire kills me. So this jerk back here was the sniper who got me. Okay, this guy's not... Okay, let's, get, let's deal with the level uh, 67 guy first. Oh no, you enraged him. <laughs> something did. <laughs> yeah, something you did enraged him. Or something somebody else did. Oh wow. Yeah. Some levels for that guy. Well, that was that sniper shot guy in the back. Uh, that sniper shot does a lot of damage. He's 30 levels below me. He did like two thirds of my levels. Yeah. Oh, the curse. One blast to this horn, and off the Uruks in Mordor will come running! Ready oh, to find okay. a snack. I, I wish I heard that a little better, but one of the Oryx is something like, every step you take is like another life I take or something to that effect. And, uh... Isn't that like an Show 80s song? Like, I'll be watching you? Um, it, it does not I mean, mean that lyrics. It, right, but it's it's an orc like interpretation of, uh, you know, that. Oh, god damn it, stop sniping me, I'm just trying to. You fight for me. God, follow every command. command. Now I'm just imagining, like, Work versions of pop songs. All right, curse guy's done. I really need to deal with the unexpected threat of a level thirty-four poisonous marksman. <laughs> poisonous crap. There we go. Ah. Yep. Watch out for that. Yo, you're done. You're facing a true Uruk who will not stop until you're in shreds. I'd prefer it if you didn't move too much so that I can shred you properly. I hate it when the lines aren't even in pretty. Watch out for ranger tricks! Now! I too hate it when the lines aren't neat and pretty when I play Crusader Kings. <laughs> No, I was thinking about doing Europa Universalis or Hearts of Iron, and I can't remember why. I'm sure it was terrible and had something to do with Nazis, but I was thinking about you the other day. <laughs> oh, well, so. the event concluded. Yeah. That's because the last one on the, uh, the defense yeah. is trying to retreat, and now he's lost his head. <laughs> and his body just <laughs> disappears through the world. <laughs> so, I think this is a good introduction to uh, the danger that are level 60 plus captains. Yeah. Although the most of the problems were caused by the sniper. Yeah. But after just walking through some outposts and just giving no fucks, knowing that I could just murder these guys at will. Uh, 
finding these level 60 pluses shows uh, what Act 4 is going to be like. Captains are going to be a lot harder than they used to. Ow! Even catch fire. Yeah, I think he's immune. Oh right, a lot of them were, weren't they? Curse cloak, curse cloak. No book. You feel that one? What is he doing? <laughs> he's shooting the corner of the wall between us. Well, I'm there. I don't know, he just snapped to the ground because I shot him with an arrow. And then Talion fell over. Oh, I dodge rolled. Oh, okay. He was shooting me at the same time, so I needed to avoid that. Yeah, point fifty-four, point four four to point four four. We've hit the bottom of the uh, the returns on the prestige skills. Mm. We still have like 15 more levels and any number of events that give me skill points to go. What was I thinking? Oh, yes, of course. Mog here. Yeah. There is one thing I do miss about Celebrimbor in Act 4. And that's, you don't get him just dramatically saying orc names when you, you know, identify them or look at them. Right, on the, yeah. The <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like, what cloak do I wear when I'm not using the cloaks for elemental resist? And I don't remember if I really even have a set favorite. I was thinking of that, the Bright Lord's Cloak, just to gain Wraith. Or Wrath. I was like, no, no, no. Reduce the duration of fire by 80%. Why would I want that? That sounds no. not helpful. <laughs> it still feels like, if I'm not trying to be elemental resist, full health back on stealth kill is basically the best. And, oh, hey, look! Another one of these guys. Hush, Grish. Oh, thank you. You're taking over. Excellent. Oh, that's right. His uh, his vulnerability was he is terrified of spiders. Uh, and having collected all of the Shelob memories, uh, we can instantaneously exploit that. Also, he's vigilant against well, stealth. I think I missed that. <laughs> you, you're mine. Actually, you're mine. Oh no! Or are you mine? They all have body doubles. I guess that's just a thing to being pretenders. But, oh no, he's terrified of spiders. <laughs> Where are his doubles? What are they doing? Getting spidered. Remember, his doubles may share his immunities, like, like uh, immunity to stealth and whatever. But, uh, they're still essentially, like, powered up grunts. Uh, right. And a spider bite might be enough to kill them. And there only appears to be one left, so it, I think it did. Yeah. Try <laughs> that Oh! Hey, thanks for the legendary sword, buddy. Damn it. He's getting the shield in front of his face just in time. Okay, I was doing something here. Right. Yeah. But also, uh, shiny new sword? 
It's the same sword as I'm currently using, but slightly better. Slightly better. <laughs> oh well. Alright, sure. <coughs> After upgrading the legendary sets to 60, I think, yeah, 60, um, we no longer need to do challenges to upgrade them, like, by a next significant chunk, we can just rub elf cash on them to keep them up with Talion's level, but this saved me some amount of elf cash. Traitors, and all who follow them deserve slow, agonizing death! So sweet. So, so, so sweet. Mm-hmm. And this is happening again. Yes. I was just going to clear out uh, all the events of Minus Morgul. The 65... Is that 68? Oh. Uh, 68. Yes. Oh, the 60s are already terrified, though. <laughs> yes. Apparently he was terrified of more guy flies. Uh, makes it really easy to recruit. Yeah, and okay. presumably there won't be any more guy flies in the arena if you wanted to put him in there. Correct. Yeah. He's epic. He will be a good fighter, yeah. I hope. I don't know, I didn't actually give a, a thorough investigation of him. <laughs> Throwing daggers back at you. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Oh, RIP. Yeah. Sauron himself will be pleased with this. He, uh, he too shot me with thrown daggers and then had no chance. Welcome to Act 4 Orcs. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Now that is a dude that I want to recruit and then put into one of my fortresses somewhere. Also, there's two shadows up here. Hey, no, get off get off my walls, captains. The that, hell are they? I I don't know. I can't try to mark them. Like you don't know who they are. Well, they don't ex exist either because A, it's my fortress. It shouldn't have hostile orcs on it. But B, it's no. Minas Morgul. Minas Morgul doesn't do the whole fortress control thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Like, I can't put orcs up on those slots. Good job, game. Has that ever happened before? No. <laughs> I think my Shadow of War save file is just, like, having some existential problems after, like, this being my fifth save file or something. I'm like, come on, let me click on them. Let me track them. Are they... Do they exist somewhere in the game map? And no, every time I click. I end up getting, like, gruck. <sighs> well, uh, that's it for the intro into Act 4. Uh, join me next time, and hopefully we learn to raise the dead. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye!